Ladies and gentlemen in the studio, please make some noise for Dawn Penn. Ooh. Welcome to the studio, Dawn. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the studio, Dawn. Thank you for coming in. Lovely ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Dawn Penn, queen of reggae music. I'm just going to play a tune in the background while we just set up things in there. How you doing, Dawn? I'm good, thank you. Oh. The weather is fine. Fine? Today. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit cold. A bit cold. So hold it down, coming live. Ooh. Excuse me while I shuffle for my little bits of paper with all the questions. Once again, Dawn, well, welcome to the studio at Tropical FM. Thank you very much for welcoming me. It's a pleasure to be uh, here. Uh, it's all mine. The pleasure is all mine, Dawn, honestly. I'm so oh, overwhelmed. I'm so excited to have a legend in the studio with me this afternoon. It's so, an honor. <laughs> Dawn, uh, you know, uh, I've got a lot of information from the internet, so you need to help me out if it's not 100% correct. For now, you can go to worldwideweb.donpen.net. That's my new website, and it has everything that is not correct. Okay. Yeah. Right. Dawn Penn's earliest recordings were composed and written by you around 1966. The very first track I did was 1966. Okay, when you did that. The rest that. followed 67, 68, 69. Okay. Down the line. Now, according to the information that I have here, uh, you recorded the, the rock steady single, You Don't Love Me, produced by Coxon. In 1967. In 1967. So I did that before I did my signature song, which is When I'm Gonna Be Free. Okay. Yes. It became a mystery to me when I, what can I say, found out. But the very first track I did was one called When I'm Gonna Be Free. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that is the truth. Okay. Or the real information. The real, okay. That's the first track that you ever created. The very first track okay. that I did. So Wikipedia, ladies and gentlemen, not actually. I know we have it covered. Person. Somebody's <laughs> dealing with it. You tried, but it didn't work. Yeah. So why did you, uh, and so you, 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 you made some tracks in Studio One, because uh, obviously my show today is themed around Studio One. So you, right. you heard some of the classic stuff. I'm sure you remember it, Dawn. And yeah. you was living it then. Right. Yeah, he was living that lifestyle then. The only stuff that we could dream of now. Well, yes, because the music was done with Tom and Cook and the Scatterlights, and there were professional musicians who played their instrument to suit the song that you were singing, and they didn't really necessarily use sheet music. Mm -hmm. Jackie Me Too was really the, like the producer for that band when they were recording in the studio he would decide or tell them what they should play and things like that. Okay. Oh, Studio One Styley. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you just joined us, you met, you've joined us at a crucial point. We have a live interview with Dawn Penn, queen of reggae music, live in Tropical FM. Oh, Dawn, I, I don't know where to start. There are so many questions to ask you, so many. Where do we start? No, okay. Seeing that your No, No, No was your second single, now that you've right. corrected and given it information, right? Yeah. It was a big hit then. Right. And then in 1994. Right. Yeah, Studio yeah. One had a 35 year anniversary, and mm -hmm. I was asked to um, do something, you know, like we, we were having a show. I was actually the personal assistant secretary to Vonnie McGowan who was spearheading that show. So you had to locate all the different uh, musicians and come for rehearsal. At the rehearsal, I sang a Dinah Ross song, and I also sang No, No, No. 
And what it is, Steely heard me and say, bad word, she never lose it at all. <laughs> <laughs> so from there, he got a, um, a deal with Heartbeat Records out of America to do this album, which we did at um, Don Robin Avenue Studio Mixing Lab. And um, when the album came out, my track was running the album, so they had to put it on a seven inch. And from there, I got a deal with Atlantic Records, Big Beat Atlantic Records, and that took the song further. Further? Yes. I mean, that, that's a classic tune. I don't know anybody that does not know that tune. It's 45 years I've seen it, though. And it, and it's, and it crosses stupid. all boundaries, all colors, yeah. all races. I know it has put me in 53 countries of the world, thank God. Wow. More than 53 countries. I'm just saying that for a number. Mm -hmm. 1994, it got re-released, became right. massive in the UK, took the charts by I storm. I know, it entered the Billboard, ch um, the Top of the Pops chart at number nine. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. Yep. And then in 1996, it was released again and it still did the damage. Yeah, and it is still doing damage as well because Beyonce has done it. It had Eve, she's coming out now, big mm -hmm, up, mm -hmm, Eve. Mm -hmm. It's Eve, it's Wu Tang Clan, it's J Mills, it's um, the Coca Brother and I did something for Rockers Records as well. Um, so many people Lily Allen, Sean Paul, Vibes Cartel, and Rihanna. Beyonce is the latest one. Okay. What what, in, what where did you where did where did the lyrics come from? Where, I mean, what it's a, the, the thing is the, the lyrics is a simple lyric like a two year old child can no you don't love me. It's something that you have to embrace whether husband and wife, boyfriend or girlfriend. Although I don't believe in that, but this kind of relationship scenario mm -hmm. is always having even even if you have a dog and you don't treat him good i know somebody <laughs> i'm serious i know somebody that have a dog right now and mm. he leave his dog with this man and this man is feeding the dog with all kind of cooked food and thing and mm. when he mm. gave the dog the tin food it's not playing it's not even going near the food it's funny but it's true <laughs> so if you treat people properly you get a response and this is talking about your heart, about your emotions, about everything that's within the person that will, you know, can impinge on how your mind runs. So it's very deep. Yeah, well, it, well so the, the, the lyrics itself, I mean, I, I was kind of, you know, the tune itself carries so much weight. When you actually yeah, listen simple. to the tunes, yeah, it's simple, the bass line, the lyrics, the, and your voice gives it so much depth. It would yeah. make you feel that you must have suffered something. Well, to, to, I don't want to, to get into that. that aspect of it. It's deep. Okay, it's deep. So, what was the next track you released after that? Um, um, I did some scat tunes, "Long Day, Short Night," mm -hmm. "Blue Yes Blue," um, "Are You There." Are You There and Long Day Short Night were two Dionne Warwick songs. I'm a Dionne Warwick fan, so anything she sang, I knew it. Okay. I studied her song down in Times Time Store in King Street in the record shop, going up there and staying in the booth and thing. So you, you just mentioned a couple of artists as well. What, but when you're off and you're off, you're not, you're not performing. Because I know recently you've been traveling. You, I, I had a conversation with you when you was in New York. Yeah, I and was in Canada. I did um, the reggae festival in Canada. Mm -hmm. Who do you actually chill out to? Who do you just let go I'm of? I'm a musician, so I don't really program myself to any particular artist per se. Mm -hmm. um, I remember back in the day, if I'm listening to the radio and there's a music that comes on that I like, I would try to play it on the piano at the same time. Mm -hmm. That was when I was learning chords, I learned how to write music. Um, there's no particular artists that I gravitate to like name 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 like now yeah. but I listen to the different shows that you have like you know The Voice and all these different Britain Got Talent and all these things and from time to time I see the TV I don't normally watch it too tough now but still what do you think of Britain's Got Talent and what else what was the other program what was the other program does any kind of register the voice. me The I Voice tend to, I tend to like The Voice it's a little bit more Easy going on the, on the would be artists. Okay, yeah, they're not so harsh, are they? On they're just uh, yeah, yeah, and they kind of make you feel like you're trying something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I mean to sing a song and wait for someone to kind of acknowledge 
that you're making a statement, you know, it's like still nerve wracking. But at the end of the day, what can I say? It's music. Okay, Dawn, we're just going to take a break. We're going to play one of your tracks, and it's called uh, uh, City Life. Right, that's yeah. my lead, one of my latest. One of your new, newest tracks, yeah. Funkiest Garage track, Yeah, yes. and then uh, we're, we're going to come back after we've played the track. We're going to come back and we talk a little bit more about some of your old school tunes, the right. vintage stuff, that which they call now. It's not classic anymore. It's Sorry? vintage. Okay. But for me, it still pays a major part, an important part of my life. Well, when I do shows, they actually want to hear the music from back in the day as well. So, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, well, don't tell them that, Mum. <laughs> see, I just get a lecture there, see? Them tunes that was out before I was even born, you know. Born. We're not even born yet. <laughs> City Life by Dawn Penn, one of her latest singles that are out at the moment. It's not right. City Life. It's not right. They got me working so hard, working so hard, working so hard. They got me working so hard, working so hard. I don't Live in the studio with me this afternoon. Dawn Penn. This is one of her new singles. So it's time to put down your cup of tea or your coffee, your milk. Because this is one of those interviews that you cannot afford to miss.
There you go, Dawn Penn, City Life. Now that's a kind of a new re remix because that's a that's like a dubstep. That's a kind of right it now a, tune. It is a dubstepers. You were. <laughs> <I'll just say laughs> it's that's that's a wicked tune right now. I know. It's it there. just need promotion. <laughs> so listen, don't forget <laughs> to check out Dawn Penn's new website, dawnpenn.net. If you want any right. further information of what's uh, what and Dawn is up to, that track is on video on YouTube as oh, well. We we're gonna, we're just gonna do that in a minute. Don't don't give away. You can't give away all everything one time. No, enough. that song I'm talking about that you just play. Okay, you just recently come back from Canada doing the reggae festival. Right. Uh, who did you perform with out there? Al Capone. Um, Putting me on the spot not to remember so many things that I've done in the past three weeks. <laughs> 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 um, Delwa Williams. Mm -hmm. And we had a live band. It was quite good. Okay. And it was in Toronto. Toronto. Toronto Reggae Festival, yes. Oh, well, how, how was the weather? Is Toronto is known to be a little bit cold. Was it nice for the no, festival? It's like the UK. Toronto, New York, and all of them sound alike. In temperature wise, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dawn, we're gonna. Uh, you did ask me to play a specific track for you today, so I'm right. gonna play that for you in a few minutes, just to uh, uh, to allow you to warm up. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm missing somebody who was very much on that show too. Okay. Um, what's his name now? Big Ute. Big Ute. Big Ute. Wow. Was awesome. On Wait, that Big show, Ute. he was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about those people right now. I can't talk. You know? Them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mum. My mum's just taken over the show, hijacked it. My mum's going to do the interview for me. <laughs> so away from some of the... I know you do, you, you, ha you, you do do a lot of work for charity, don't you, Dawn? I used to work for a charity that worked with people over 50. Um, I did all the holistic situations that they needed yoga tai chi line dancing color therapy crystal healing phobias among other things and there's the jewelry and things like that they, were, they used to run a workshop didn't you For, uh, and, yeah and i was a project that manager th that was here in the, in the uk wasn't it yes it was in was it in tottenham in tottenham St. Anne's Road, to be exact. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you did that for quite some time, didn't you? Yeah, three years. And you know, but you know that, though. Yeah, well, I'll just say, I'm just bringing it to attention. So I, I think that they need to know, you know, because generally we think of all these stars as just, you know, who they are, selfish. But you have put your time into the community. I would really like to get it happen again. It's just that the funding from, you know, we were getting funding. You had to, you had to make an application and bid for funding through Haringey Council. Mm -hmm. And the funding ended as, you know, everything around us is ending. So um, that's how that just fizzled out. But we were doing counseling as well. We had a program with the youths as well. Mm -hmm. In the charity I'm talking about. My thing was just with the people who were 50, but you had the young people thing, help them with their homework. Um, taught them to play the um, guitar during the summer um, with a guy named Rennie mm -hmm. and also taught them how to like play hockey and things like that during the summer and it was quite interesting you know the children had their thing and the big people had their thing the big people thing to me was quite nice too because we even started to teach them Spanish where they could probably on the in the winter go over to Spain as a group so you could speak you Spanish know? I can oh my Don't dad lived in Cuba for 32 years. So I was here in Spanish all the rest of my life. You know what I mean? The dog is, had Spanish names. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cuba. That's nice. Yeah. What we're going to do now, Dawn, is we're, we're going to go, we're going to play one of your classic videos. Right. Oh, they call it classic, but it's vintage. We'll play one of your vintage videos and we'll play them two tracks, two new videos right. of your upcoming album, which is coming up. Right. So. When you're ready, please, Don. Yeah, we're just going to flick to these tracks and you can watch the video live on Tropical FM. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> 